Hey everyone, it's Thumper the Rabbit Rabbit. I'm doing a quick video response here for Digger on YouTube. I asked, uh, how do you make the new detonator, the uh, remote uh, RF transmitter, into a stateful switch? Uh, in other words, usually when you press it, it just turns on and then it's only on while you're holding the button and then it turns off again. So if you want it to trigger something that will stay on or stay open, uh, how do you do that? Well, uh, my answer in text was to use a memory cell, which is a great use of the new toggle input on the memory cell. Uh, before, you would need two of these, one for set and one for reset, and you'd have to use two transmitters, two receivers, to tell it when you wanted it on and off. But now with this toggle input, you can just run uh, power into the receiver, and then run power out from the receiver into the toggle input, and I've got this set to 6969, and I got my transmitter on 6969. And as soon as I hit the button, I don't have to keep holding it. It has now changed the memory cell from off to on. And our lights blink in there, and it stays on until I press the button again. And then the toggle flips it back to off. And there you go. So here's how you can use a remote transmitter to turn something on and keep it on. It's a stateful trigger. And then boom, you hit it again, turns off, stays off. Uh, could use that on doors. If you want to remote open a door, then you know, take your gun out, blow somebody away, and then uh, pull out their transmitter and use it to close the door again once you're done, that kind of thing. Another possible use of this uh, would be with a timer. If you wanted something to happen for a period of time when you push the button, rather than having to hold it down for say 10 seconds, you could wire up your uh, RF transmitter here to the toggle on a timer and this timer you know it's set for 10 seconds by default and uh, we'll set this thing again to 69.69 and now our transmitter will actually trigger both of these and you'll see that when I hit the button don't have to hold it down that timer starts so that lights gonna be on for 10 seconds and that also triggered our memory cell toggle over there so that blue lights gonna stay on until I hit the button again so that is two different ways that you can use the remote RF transmitter or detonator component here combined with an RF receiver and the toggle input on either a memory cell, which is new, uh, the toggle input's new on the memory cell, or the toggle input on the timer for a timed trigger. I hope that answers your question, Digger, and obviously lots of possibilities for use of this uh, remote RF transmitter that you can carry around with you now. So good luck everyone, and don't suck.